All right, guys, day two of the NFL draft in the books. Today's day three at 12 o'clock. Um, I got asked uh, what I thought of the Chenault uh, pick wide receiver from Colorado for the Jaguars in the second round. Um, I, To be honest with you, I didn't love it at first. And the only reason for that is because I didn't know a whole lot about him. Um, he looks like a physical receiver. Uh, his highlights are, are pretty impressive. Um, but the reason I didn't care for the pick was because I thought there were better prospects that would help uh, more for the Jaguars at the time. I was really big on Antoine Winfield Jr. Uh, I thought he would have been a, a potential pro bowler in our secondary uh, to replace Gerard Wilson uh, next to Ronnie Harrison. And... Um, and our new pick, C.J. Henderson, would have gave us a pretty good secondary um, if we'd have picked him. I was also high on Grant Delpit, um, and those and those guys went like a couple picks right after them. Uh, the Chenault pick back to back. Uh, what I uh, also what also bothered me about the pick was we have D.J. Chark, we have D.D. Westbrook, uh, we did resign Chris Conley, and I know a lot of people were down on him, but. I think Keelan Cole is really an untapped potential. Um, so I really think we are actually pretty good at receiver. If one kind of receiver we were missing was a big red zone jump ball threat of a receiver, and uh, and I was really big on Michael Pittman, uh, and the Colts ended up taking him early. So there went that. Um, but as I thought about it overnight, I, I have come around on the Chenault pick because what I do like about him, and when you think about the kind of receivers we got with Chark, uh, Westbrook, Cole, um, and Conley, they're kind of, even though some of them are tall, uh, they're kind of thin-bodied guys, kind of more finesse type of guys. This guy runs with rage, and I, I really like that. I saw... His highlight film, and I instantly thought, man, this is this is Anquan Bolden. And Anquan Bolden was one of my favorite receivers uh, in previous drafts. Uh, not previous drafts, uh, but, you know, back in the day, Anquan Bolden was a really good wide receiver. The difference between him and Anquan Bolden was, though, that I'm a little concerned with is Anquan Bolden was a A-plus route runner. This kid kind of got by on just sheer rage and athleticism. Uh, so I do wonder how that's going to translate, but... We are missing a physical presence. Um, this is a guy that's going to fight for the ball. Like, you you have to really strip it from him uh, when when the ball's in the air. So, I do appreciate that. Um, anytime you get a tough kid in the building, uh, I'm, I'm all for it. So... Uh, me not me not caring for the pick had nothing to do necessarily with him. It was just I liked other players, uh, so I think it was a really good pickup. Uh, we did pick up a uh, really big run stuffing defensive tackle in the third round, uh, which filled the need. I I really think the Jaguars are knocking the draft out the park. Um, the other question was was about my other team, the Cowboys, and it was asked. Uh, do I, how do I feel about the first couple picks, which was uh, C.D. Lamb and Trevon Diggs? I think the Cowboys are having a phenomenal draft. C.D. Lamb wasn't even necessarily a need like that. Um, but I think he's going to be a, 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 he's a potential number one guy that we have that's probably going to just play our third spot in the slot for the most part because they got uh, Michael Gallup and Amari Cooper. What I like about that pick is as much as I like Amari Cooper, he has a tendency to disappear. And this kid, C.D. Lamb, I don't think is that kind of guy. And so if that happens again, I think we have a legitimate 1B with C.D. Lamb. Uh, so that was a great pickup at uh, at uh, 17. Um, and it even helped the Jaguars because they were the ones rumored to go with Kalevon Chason. So both my teams upgraded really well because uh, talent just dropped. It was a really deep draft. Um, the second picture of Von Diggs, uh, I, I liked them too. After CJ Henderson, there was kind of a, just a cluster of corners that nobody had really had a consensus of, but I think they were all pretty good in their own right. Trevon Diggs has good size. Um, he has okay speed, um, but he has good size athleticism, um, which is, he actually reminds me a little bit of Byron Jones when you watch him play as a corner, um, Maybe better ball skills. The only thing with him is uh, he hasn't played corner 
you know, his whole career. He was more of an offensive guy going coming into college. Um, and so there's a little bit of rawness to his game. And questions about his speed cause him to um, – the, the worry on him is he gets a little grabby, which can cause penalties. Uh, I don't think – He's as dire need as a lot of people think uh, because I think Anthony Brown uh, could slide in and replace Byron Jones. Do I think he's Byron Jones? No. Um, but as much as I like Byron Jones, I think I think he was a little overrated uh, to get the contract he got. Uh, I think Anthony Brown's going to be pretty good. And even if you don't start Anthony Brown, you can slide Trevon Diggs in there. Here's the interesting, intriguing thing. I wonder... Because there's been talk if Trevon Diggs could play free safety. If they get Trevon Diggs and he ends up being a free safety to go with HaHa Clinton Diggs, and then you got Anthony Brown on one corner and Cheeto at the other corner and Jordan Lewis in the, in the slot, uh, nickel corner, that's a really good secondary all of a sudden. Um, the underrated pick was uh, the defensive tackle Neville, uh, and I'm sorry if I messed his name up, uh, Glamour. Um, can't think of his name off the top of my head, but I think he's an underrated pick. Uh, he reminds me a lot of Tommy Harris back in the day, and Tommy Harris was a really good one-gap penetrating defensive tackle, and he's going to learn from uh, Gerald McCoy. Uh, and we also have Don Terry Poe uh, also in the middle. So I think the Cowboys are building what looks like is going to be a pretty good defense this year. So I'm excited to see what's, what's going to happen with that. Uh, I'm excited to see what's going to happen in the NFL draft today, uh, day three. Um, keep it all the way 100 with you guys. This is the kind of the point of the draft where I don't know uh, a lot of names off rip, but I'm going to definitely do a lot of research uh, once I find out what the names are. And then I'll give you my opinion on uh, how we think they fit with the team um, going forward. So I'm excited to see what, you know, my teams are going to do. What are your teams doing? Uh, do you guys have any questions? Like, how do you guys feel about your teams? Because I, I love football, period. So I have an opinion about any team you guys got. So let me know, and uh, I'll get back with you. Peace.